All right, guys, welcome back to Ponage TV's The Smoke Show. This is Dustin again. I'm actually just uh, tuning in this time real quick. We're going to do a quick video on how to actually practice throwing your smokes, uh, how to create your own server, configs to run, and actually how to put those configs where they belong. So the first thing we're going to do is actually uh, pull up our CSGO folder. Uh, just click on your local disk. Uh, for me, I'm using Windows 10, um, so it may look a little different than a lot of you with eight and seven that are still using that. Uh, but program files, Steam, Steam apps is the next one. And then your common folder, Counter-Strike. And we're gonna go in the CSGO folder here and then right into configs. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a uh, config that I created, which is just simple text. Uh, you guys will see how all of them work and what it does. Uh, but it, what, what it's going to do is automatically set up your server so you can uh, throw unlimited smokes. You can go through walls with no clip, everything like that. Um, but again, the first thing you would do is you would just drag that in there. I already have a copy in there, so I'm not going to drag it in. But just drag and drop, and then we're going to go ahead and load up Counter-Strike, and we're ready to go. Now that we've got the game all loaded, all we're going to do is uh, hit play. Um, and then on the top left corner, you actually have the drop down box. We're going to do practice with bots. You pick the map that you want to start your server on. We're doing cache for our next video. So I actually, uh, we're going to go right onto there. And once we get in game, I'm going to show you how to execute the config. Kind of give you a rundown on uh, what you can do with this config and how you can change it to suit your needs. Uh, one of the things that I did include in the config was a bind on the Q button. Uh, so I am going to re remove that from the bind so it doesn't change anybody's bind, but I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, once you get into a game and you select your team, I always pick CT just because I love CT, but most of our smokes are for the terrorist side. So your choice doesn't matter to me. Open up your console and execute smokes.cfg. You can see very quickly, it kicks all the bots, it changes your money, the round time, and everything that goes with it. Uh, as you can see, the last command that shows up on the screen is actually MP buy anywhere. So you can actually go throughout the map and buy whatever you want. Uh, one of the other cool things about this uh, config is that it automatically replaces what you've used. So I bought a smoke and a smoke automatically shows up without me buying it. Uh, the next thing that I really like using is the tracers. So you'll see tracers for the smokes, and every single little bounce that they take gets a red dot. Uh, this will help you narrow down which part of the smokes you're messing up. Uh, so I'm just going to show you an example of what, what happens and how you mess up and how you can uh, change how you throw it. So this is just a, a simple mid-smoke. I'm going to mess it up the first time on purpose. Um, but you need to aim and I'll make a little dot for you. Right here. You can see how inaccurate you're, you are when you're in no clip. But you're looking right here at the top of the windowsill there, right in the middle. And you're doing the third line over. One, two, three. And what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to... Actually, yep, jack it up. So as you can see, uh, the first line, the first point of impact is actually too low. So I'm going to show you why that happened and then how you can adjust your smokes accordingly. Um, but when we teach you guys, I just want to show you guys why I use the tracer and how you can actually make up your own smokes. So when we're running and we're about to throw, our crosshair should always be pointing at the first spot that we were aiming at. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't start here and then by the time we're about to throw it was down here. So that's what I let happen with that smoke. Now what we're going to do is aim at the top one again and move your crosshair with it. Give it a nice little running jump through. As you can see, uh, the first time, last time it hit right there, now you've got a good 10 feet in distance. It goes further, bounces directly where it should be. So, this is my favorite thing about the uh, creating your own servers, practicing your own smokes. You can actually uh, learn a lot just by playing around, and if you have the time to figure out your own smokes, make sure you guys share them with us. Like, just throwing stuff over the wall here. Look at this. I didn't even know what this was going to do, but it's going to smoke white box and a little bit of truck. So, 
Um, again, we'd love to hear you guys' feedback. Let us know what we can do. And if you find any smokes, like I said, just submit them and we'll throw them in one of our videos. Keep up to date with all of our videos and our news posts. Make sure you check us out online at ponage.tv. And then also don't forget to check out our YouTube and make sure you click like and subscribe. Thanks guys.